Sublimation is the process of a solid turning directly into a gas. So in the sublimation process, the solid does not change to a liquid. It changes directly to a gaseous state, which forms at the top of the solid. But this is a rare process, and you aren't expected to know examples of sublimation for your exam. You'll be told when sublimation is occurring, or the states involved in given examples. So what's the difference between sublimation and other changes of state? Well, sublimation occurs because substances will not become liquids at certain pressures. Remember that ice, water and water vapour are the same substance in different states. But at low pressure, the liquid state of water cannot exist. You don't need to know why this happens, and you don't need to know the general relation between pressure and changes of state in your exam. But it does mean that sublimation can occur at this pressure, so ice can change directly to vapour. Let's have a look at a well-known example of sublimation. Carbon dioxide is a substance that will undergo sublimation at room temperature. Solid CO2 is also called dry ice and it's carbon dioxide that's been frozen. Sublimation occurs at room temperature as carbon dioxide can't be liquid at normal pressure, so it changes straight to a gas as it heats up. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.